right, welcome back everybody. Today I want to look into degreasing skulls a little bit further. I also want to test a few ideas that came my way. I just got back from Texas, we shot a bunch of pigs, so I singled out two young skulls, cut them off and drug them back with me, and I just washed them. These skulls have had nothing but clear water and a little bit of OxyClean in the pot just to help things come apart and they're completely dry and you can just see how nasty and greasy they are. They're 99.9% .9 clean. I have a little bit of stuff on them, but for the most part, they're just what people refer to as the natural look. At the end of the day, one of these products is gonna shine and that's fine, but more than anything, I want to let you know that all animals are different and if you're getting one that oils up and you've tried everything, it's not your fault, it's not what you did, it's the makeup of that animal, it's how he was built or she was built, it's going to be an oily animal. Don't be afraid to give that back to a client, it doesn't mean that you failed. I'll attach in the video the letter that I send out with skulls, especially when I get pigs, about our goal is to get them clean and degreased as much as possible and get them white, but Mother Nature kind of takes its own course. And it's just, it's not an excuse, it's just a form that helps people understand that it is what it is. The uniqueness of that animal is probably the neatest part of that animal. The fact that you hunted, you got him, and this is who it is. Let's get to cut. Alright y'all, so I'm just going to do a straight soak, 40% by volume liquid peroxide, dish soap, Dawn dish soap, brown bottle peroxide, and Clorox bleach. I'm going to give every single one of them 48 ounces, which is quite a bit for this much. I'm going to give it 48 ounces, not the Dawn, sorry, I'm going to give it a heck of a squirt of Dawn. But I don't expect great results there unless it took a long, long time, but I want to show you the effects. Here's the deal. How exciting is that? Those things fit perfect. All right, everybody. It's been 24 hours since I put these half pig heads in the solutions. This is the 40% by volume liquid peroxide, and I, I hopefully I got a close-up shot, but you can just see there's a bazillion bubbles all over the skull. Definitely whitened some, started to pull some of the oil, took all the loose little stuff that was on there and started to really get it loosened up. This one is the Dawn dish soap. Now, on top of the water, I have little rings of oil, just little tiny rings, because it hasn't been in there very long, but it's already starting to remove some of the oil. You can see where it started to attack some of the cartilage. Dawn is about the most gentle soap anywhere. Heck, on the bottle, they're washing ducks that have been in oil and things like that. But you can see just incredible difference between the two, right? Now, this is pulling oil out, but it's not whitening. That's a big difference. This is just regular old brown bottle. 3% by volume. See the difference, it's amazing. Definitely lightening some, but for the most part, not the deal. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to boil. I'm going to take them all and boil them all. I'll show you the difference. What the boil does. And here's regular old household bleach. 
man, I mean strong, 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 strong. Now, what's gonna be hard for me to show you, but you can see we're starting to etch the bone already. It's actually starting to eat away at the bone. 40% by volume, smooth bone, or I'm sorry. Gonna see a tremendous difference. All right, y'all, it's starting to rain. This is a project I forgot about. Shame on me. Kind of a degreasing project. Holy cow. And I used four different medias. Hmm. I gotta bring the camera around and show you. 40% by volume. 30% by volume. Liquid bleach. Dawn dish soap. Okay, after a full month soak and a three week dry, this is Clorox bleach. You can see that it started to damage the bone in this area here and didn't pull the oils. The jaw almost made zero effect. This is Dawn dish soap. It's a timing thing. The Dawn started to draw it to the surface and it just didn't get enough time to pull it out. This one's actually wet with grease. 3% by volume peroxide brown bottle. You can see it's much more consistent, although it didn't get bright white. That has to do with the amount of volume. And then this is the 40% by volume liquid peroxide. Regular old soak. Okay, I'm gonna take the three skulls that weren't in the 40% by volume mix and I'm gonna boil them in what I like to call the white bone creations mix. 40% by volume liquid developer or peroxide from the beauty store, same product, and water. I'm gonna bring them to a boil and show you how fast you can bring old greasy skulls back to life. This process took exactly 10 minutes and they look new and beautiful. Just be careful with a mix that hot, you can damage the bone. The key is to get it to a boil, pull it out hot and rinse it clean. All right, y'all, we're back. This degreasing project, whenever I do a degreasing project, it always is an eye opener to me. Uh, by far, the worst skulls I do, no questions asked, are pigs. The best pig in a month will start to color up. And I don't mean that it's gonna drip oil or stink or any of that stuff, but it's eventually gonna start turning more of that translucent-y wet look versus that chalk white right out of the pot finish. Remember, the thing I wanna stress is that Skulls aren't designed to be pure white. We like the look of them. I like the look of them because I relate it to a sun bleached skull that I found. I like that white bone look. That's the reason I named White Bone Creations, White Bone Creations. But there is a level where you'll damage the bone if you take it too far. So, that being said, and I'm gonna do some close ups so you can see these skulls, but everything turned white. The one I used Clorox bleach on, it just destroyed this skull. It's chalky and it's it's really, really brittle. So the bleach damaged the bone and when I put it in the peroxide to whiten and pull the rest of the grease, yeah, all but destroyed. Everything else is smooth and beautiful and pure white. This right here is uh, the 3% by volume. This is the original soak. So you can see where it pulled the oils, but it's already starting to color up just a tick. Nothing wrong with it. This is the uh, Dawn dish soap right out of the boil peroxide. I guess where I'm heading with all of this, I get a lot of questions about household bleach. 
bleach will etch the bone or make the bone porous or chalky, not good. The other products, 3% by volume liquid peroxide, it will do the job in time, but if time is of the essence, 20 is better than 10, 40 is better than 20. Every skull is different. Every one of them needs to be looked at. The older the animal, the more it'll take. The younger the animal, the less it will take. I know that all seems obvious, but if you haven't done a bunch of them, then maybe that's good advice. So I'm gonna take and wire these back together and do something unique with them. But I hope this brings some light to the degreasing questions out there. And um, if you ever have questions, like always, you can send me a message on Instagram at Whitebone Creations. You can direct message me. I try and get back every single message. Sometimes it takes a while. Or leave a comment on the video and I will absolutely uh, send you back whatever info I got. Thank you as always for watching. Till next time.